Your relay, just two teams contesting this in lane four, lane seven, Star Athletics two and Star Athletics. This is where a lot of the pro runners, as we get a look at Brittany Aveni, who's going to be running the second leg for the Star Athletics team in lane four. A lot of these women that don't train together with the same coach will, will jump on these relays because they're, they're practicing for later in the year after they go to the U.S. Olympic trials, and they'll be in relay pools for that world championship team. So a lot of women that don't train together running together. And they are off. A lot of separation because of the different lanes that they're running in. Brittany Brown is leading off for Star Athletics in four, and that's Javion Oliver passing to Courtney Johnson in Star Athletics of lane seven. Courtney out very fast on the top of that. She's going to be passing off to Tiana Daniels in this third curve. Maya McCoy running the third leg for Star Athletics in four. And this is T.T. Terry on the bottom of your screen getting the stick right now for Star Athletics in seven. She anchored USC's winning four by 100 last year Boy, at the NCAA she. Championships, and she is motoring. <laughs> she has such unbelievable frontside running mechanics. I'll talk about that in just a second. But again, it's for a lot of these pro women. To, there's the little dance, her little T.T. Terry dance for these pro women to come out here and learn how to get different handoffs with different women. 42-68, that's a very good e early season time with probably a, not a team that's practiced a lot together. A lot of the times when you have nobody that you train with end up in a relay team with you at a major, the handoffs just aren't as smooth. So what you want to do is you see T.T. Terry just rolling down the home stretch to finish. You want to make sure that you can practice with them as many times as possible so that you can get great stick passes when it counts later at the major. It is so difficult to get relay team members together for these national teams, and it's a world championships this year in Eugene. And believe me, everyone wants to try to get in that relay pool. The more they practice together, the better results can be expected.